Hey guys, this is Coach Keon Corniff, also known as Mr. Finance, your favorite financial educator and business coach. And today I really want to have a heart at heart with you guys. I really want to talk about a few things in a couple minutes here. I suggest you go get a pen and paper because what I'm going to share with you right now is about college planning. So you ready? Here we go. Now, the thing about college plan is that, guys, when it comes to saving, right, many of us been advised or given the idea that we should use a 529. Now, what they don't tell us about this 529 is the fact that a 529 is an unsecure way to save for your kid's college education because the money is tied to the market's performance. On top of that, that 529 may actually affect your child's eligibility for financial aid due to the fact that the 529 is considered an asset. Now, due to the fact that if you don't use the money for any form of college education, then you have to pay a penalty in addition to paying taxes as well upon the distribution or using that money. Now, instead of using an unsecure way for your kid's college education you you can actually use a secure way now the secure way to make sure that you can use and really you know put your kids in a better position is by using what's called cash value life insurance why cash value life insurance is because due to the tax code 7702 section a which actually lists life insurance any cash value cash in the life insurance is not considered an asset due to that tax code so the fact that there's no age restrictions and there's no limit in where you could put the money and where to do with the money, guess what? You're able to use that money in the cash, the cash value from the life insurance if you fund it properly from the child was born up until the age of 18 when they needed for school. You could have used that money and guess what? It doesn't consider an asset. If you look on the FAFSA form, they do not require you to expose or talk about whatever cash is inside your cash value life insurance. But if you have like a, a 529, it has to be disposed. Uh, disclose and if that happens that may, that may affect their eligibility for financial aid now unlike a cash value life insurance there's nothing there if you look on the fastball sheet show me where they say life insurance there's none right so because of that you're now in a position where you could use the cash value from your cash value life insurance and use it for college education planning for your children and pay for their school and if they decide not to go to school that's quite fine the money could be used for anything else that they want and guess what they have coverage on top of that so the fact that you now put yourself in a position where you can have a secure account where they could earn up to 15 percent compounded interest and guarantee to never lose when the market crash and get a positive 0.75 percent Guys, this is why we need to start learning more about different ways and different avenues. Wealthy people have been using this for many years and you can too. All you have to do is literally click the link or just go to the website that's on this video and let's have a money talk. It's important for us to do, you know, plan for our kids' college education in a secure way. And we don't have to take any risk anymore. All right? See you guys later. Hope you learned something.